Imagine a time, 4.6 billion years ago, when the Earth was just a ball of molten rock and gases. This was the stage for the birth of life. Picture this, a nascent Earth, fresh from the cosmic oven, basking under the glow of a younger, more active sun. Our planet was still in its embryonic phase, a sphere of swirling molten rock, glowing red hot at temperatures exceeding 2000 degrees Celsius. It was a world in the throes of creation, a world unlike anything we can fathom today. Over time, as the Earth cooled, a thin crust formed over its fiery surface. This was the first step towards creating a solid ground upon which life could eventually take root. The planet's surface was still barren, but the stage was set. But what about the air we breathe? The early Earth's atmosphere was a far cry from the life-sustaining mix we enjoy today. It was dominated by nitrogen, making up a hefty 78%, and oxygen was a mere 21%. The remainder was a cocktail of other gases, including traces of carbon dioxide, methane and water vapour. Now, let's talk numbers. Earth's age is a staggering 4.6 billion years. Let's put that into perspective. If we were to condense Earth's history into a single year, each day would represent 12 and a half million years. That's more than twice the age of the oldest dinosaur fossils ever found. To say Earth is ancient is an understatement. The conditions on early Earth were not just harsh, they were downright hostile. Yet, it was amidst these extreme conditions that life emerged. But life, as we know it, was still billions of years away. The first inhabitants of Earth were not dinosaurs, mammoths or even simple multicellular organisms. They were humble molecules, the precursors to life. In this vast cosmic theatre, against all odds, life found a way. But this raises a fascinating question. How did life transition from simple molecules to complex organisms? How did we go from a barren, molten world to the biodiverse planet we call home today? Fast forward to around three and a half billion years ago, when the first life forms appeared on Earth. This was a time when our planet was still finding its footing, the era of prokaryotes, microscopic single-celled organisms without a defined nucleus. These were the pioneers, the first to stake a claim in the vast landscape of life. The appearance of prokaryotes marked a turning point in the Earth's history. These tiny life forms, measuring a minuscule 1 to 10 micrometers in length, were the first to harness the power of the sun, to twist the raw materials of the Earth into something new. They were the first to breathe, to grow, to multiply. In their simplicity, they found strength. Without a nucleus, their genetic material floated freely within the cell, allowing for rapid replication and adaptation. This was life in its most essential form, a testament to the power of simplicity and the resilience of life. Prokaryotes were the ultimate survivors, able to thrive in a variety of environments, from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains, from freezing temperatures to boiling hot springs. They were the true pioneers, the explorers who charted the course for all life to follow. Their lifespan, though short by our standards, spanning from a few hours to a few days, was enough for them to make their mark. Their population, estimated to be in the trillions, was a testament to their success. They were the first, but they certainly weren't the last. These tiny creatures, invisible to the naked eye, were the foundation upon which all subsequent life was built. They were the first to harness the power of life, to bend the rules of nature to their will. They were the architects of life as we know it. These tiny creatures set the stage for the evolution of more complex life forms. But what triggered this evolution? Around 540 million years ago, something extraordinary happened. The Cambrian explosion. This was no ordinary explosion, mind you, but an explosion of life, a sudden burst of biological creativity that forever changed the trajectory of life on Earth. During this relatively short period, spanning about 20 to 25 million years, life on Earth underwent a rapid and unprecedented diversification. Picture this. Before the Cambrian explosion, Life was primarily composed of simple, single-celled organisms. But in the blink of an eye, geologically speaking, these simple life forms gave way to an incredible array of complex multicellular organisms. More than a thousand new species emerged during this time, including the first animals with shells, the first predators, and the first organisms to develop complex sensory systems. So, what drove this sudden and spectacular burst of life? The answer lies in the atmosphere. 
At the time of the Cambrian explosion, oxygen levels were on the rise, making up around 15% of the Earth's atmosphere. This increase in oxygen allowed for the development of larger, more complex organisms, and may have triggered the evolutionary innovations we see in the Cambrian fossil record. Of course, the Cambrian explosion didn't happen overnight. It was the culmination of millions of years of slow, steady evolution, punctuated by a sudden burst of creativity. And while it may have been short-lived, its impact was profound. The Cambrian explosion set the stage for all future life on Earth, laying the groundwork for everything from the simplest insects to the most complex mammals. The Cambrian explosion was a turning point in the history of life on Earth. But how did life continue to evolve after this? The next major milestone in the history of life on Earth was the rise of dinosaurs around 230 million years ago. Imagine a world ruled not by humans but by beasts of an unimaginable scale. The dinosaurs, a group of reptiles of the clade Dinosauria, made their grand entrance during the Mesozoic era, marking an epoch of dominance that would last for over 160 million years. The dinosaurs were not just rulers by virtue of time, but also by sheer size. The Argentinosaurus, for instance, held the title of the largest land animal to have ever lived, stretching up to 40 meters in length. That's the equivalent of four double-decker buses lined up end to end. And these titanic creatures didn't merely exist for a fleeting moment. Some dinosaurs, like the Apatosaurus, could live for up to 300 years. That's nearly four times the average human lifespan today. While we often imagine dinosaurs as a handful of types, T-Rex, Triceratops, Velociraptor, the reality is far more diverse. To date, we have discovered over 700 distinct species of dinosaurs. Each species is a testament to the incredible adaptability and diversity of life on our planet. But, as we all know, this reign of the dinosaurs was not to last forever. Around 66 million years ago, a catastrophic event shook the very foundations of life on Earth. A comet or asteroid roughly 10 kilometers in diameter struck what is now the Yucatan Peninsula releasing energy equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. This event, known as the Cretaceous Paleogene or KPG extinction event, resulted in a rapid decrease in global temperatures, followed by a nuclear winter that lasted for years. The dinosaurs, despite their size and dominance, were not immune to this cataclysm. It marked the end of their reign and the beginning of a new era, the age of mammals. The reign of the dinosaurs ended with a bang, literally. But what came after the dinosaurs? After the dinosaurs, mammals took center stage, marking the beginning of the age of mammals, around 65 million years ago. As the curtain fell on the dinosaur era, mammals seized the opportunity to flourish and diversify, evolving into an array of forms that would come to dominate the terrestrial biosphere. Intricate adaptations allowed these creatures to fill every ecological niche, from soaring the skies to burrowing in the earth and even returning to the seas. Among them, the blue whale took the crown as the largest mammal ever to exist, reaching lengths of up to 30 meters. Not just size, but longevity too, became a hallmark of mammalian evolution. The bowhead whale, also known as the Arctic whale, boasts a lifespan of up to 200 years, making it one of the longest lived mammals on earth. But it wasn't just about size and longevity. The age of mammals also saw the emergence of the first primates, our very own ancestors. These intelligent creatures laid the groundwork for the evolution of modern humans, marking a significant milestone in the history of life on Earth. Today, the mammalian lineage is represented by over 6,000 species, each unique and adapted to its own way of life, contributing to the vibrant tapestry of life that we see around us. From the first simple life forms to the diverse array of species we see today, the history of life on Earth is a fascinating journey of evolution and adaptation. What a journey we've been on, from the dawn of time to the present day. We've witnessed the Earth's formation, marveled at the emergence of the first life forms, and delved into the Cambrian explosion. We've seen dinosaurs rise and fall, giving way to the age of mammals. All these epochs, all these transformations mark the grand tapestry of life, a testament to its resilience and adaptability. The story of life on Earth is a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life. Who knows what the future holds?